our diplomatic community. And it is sad when leaders who hold offices, leading parties in our country, lecture our diplomatic community on the basis of issues that they know are true. And we are fortunate, Your Excellency, and I want to encourage you, there is nothing, absolutely nothing neo-colonialist with an ambassador of a friendly nation speaking not just for her country, but also speaking for the host country where she's serving her country. There is absolutely nothing in your colonialist about an ambassador speaking to her investors back in the country where they come from to come and invest in our country here so that you're able to value add on the bananas that are being grown by farmers in Kisi. It is those investors from the United States who will come together with those from China and other countries who will come and invest in this country and create job opportunities for our young people. Your Excellency, I want to encourage you that stay focused, as Apostle Peter said. Be that elephant that does not look down. Focus on delivering fertilizer to our farmers. Focus on restoring our roads. Focus on rebuilding our economy. Like Nehemiah said, with God in heaven, we shall succeed. I want to believe your excellence with God in heaven ahead of us. We shall succeed in rebuilding the walls of our economy to have a prosperous nation for all of us. And that is why I also want to take this opportunity to encourage all our friends, even in the diplomatic community, do not be discouraged by the naysayers. Be encouraged that many Kenyans appreciate the friendship of your countries. They appreciate your friendship as ambassadors and heads of mission who are serving our country, who are serving in our country, representing your country's interests. But we feel fortunate that you can also 